Hey guys, it's Erin. Welcome to my bathroom. Um, it's not always this cleaned up, but we're going to pretend like it always is. Um, I wanted to hop on today and just give you a, a little quick, kind of just show you behind the scenes of how I do my makeup every day. As a girl who is, well, we'll call me a girl, um, a girl who is soon approaching 40, um, I've got very real lines. And um, so I don't do my makeup every day like I do when I go to the Willow Tree for pictures. Um, you know, when you see Kristen and Chelsea and they have like flawless skin on the lives and then you also see um, these beautiful models and um, they're young and, and they look fantastic, their skin. Um, you know, we wear a lot of makeup on you know, on picture day. And so, um, in real life, a lot of us don't wear that much makeup. So I just kind of wanted to give you like a real picture of, um, what I wear on an everyday basis for my makeup. All right, let's get started. <laughs> You may be surprised to know that I don't wear base. Um, as someone who is aging, and it's kind of hitting me pretty quick these days, um, I actually don't wear base because I feel like it settles in my creases and my lines in my face. It makes me look older. On Willow Tree days, when I go and I take pictures, I wear a whole lot of makeup. Um, again, that was just kind of in my notes um, on day one when I looked back at the pictures. I was like, note to self, you need more makeup. So what I'm doing here is I actually have like a blemish cover stick. All of my makeup is from the drugstore, basically, with the exception of a few. Um, I've struggled with acne my whole life probably since the age of about 12 or 13. And when I say my whole life, I really do mean like, like there was never a time where it was, where it was truly cleared up. I feel like it's hormonal because um, I do take that back when I was pregnant with my daughter, my face looked fantastic. And a lot of people are at the opposite and they have super clear skin all the time. And then when they get pregnant, they have breakouts. So that would mean that your hormones are like, doing right what they're supposed to be doing. Um, but that's just something that I've learned to deal with and I do love makeup for that reason. So what I'm doing is I'm just covering up these scars and some of the darker spots. I do not use a brush because I feel like I get a little bit more precision when I just blot with my finger. I don't know, there's something to that. Um, struggling with acne can kind of, um, give you a little confidence blow every now and then. Um, so I did want to throw this in that my whole life, I also, on my mirror, I've had a Bible verse, um, that reminds me it's the Bible verse that says that God looks at the inside of a, of a person and that man looks at the outside, but that um, God, that's not the way he looks at us, that he looks at us from the inside. And so I've always really loved that verse and it helps me when I'm putting on my makeup to look down and see that verse. Um, I don't know. It just kind of helps me get through the day. And um, if there's an issue with my makeup, I'm like, this is not who I am. <laughs> if there's, you know, a blemish or something that I can't cover up, then I just try not to worry about that. All right, so really, that's the base. Um, now I go in, and this is this is my favorite here. I use Bobbi Brown, so this is not drugstore, but you can order it. Um, I think sometimes Amazon has it. Um, my color is natural, and so I just use my bronzer on top here. And I fill in close to my hairline. Um, I love it because this gives my face some color. 
I'm trying to get less sun on my face these days, um, but it can make me look a little washed out. Just kind of follow underneath my cheekbone there. Again, y'all are going to be like, this is the most low maintenance Betty in the world, but this is my real everyday makeup. Okay. Then I come under my chin here. I even hit my ears a little bit and go down. I really like to like highlight that part of my jawline. So I just make some of this under here a little bit darker. Giving y'all my secrets today. Turns out my jaw is not that angular. <laughs> Neither is my face. All right, so I come in here just a little bit. I would say, I, I can remember like back when I started doing this, it was like they would say to make a three there. And that is kind of what I do, but I don't do it in a big sweeping stroke like that. I also do hit above my eyes just a little bit like that. Okay. Bobby Brown. Love. Love. But I also love that there's no sparkle to it because, again, if I'm trying to go for really natural makeup, then that's that's the point. It's like I don't want to have a, a strange shimmer like I'm, I don't know, a vampire in a middle school young adult novel. All right. Now I go in with a little bit of blush, Maybelline Fit Me. I know, it's like all the expensive, all the most expensive things. Um, I say that funny because it's super cheap. They had me at JLo, like this, the Maybelline Fit, they had, they had JLo come in and like, model some of these and be like, oh, it's the perfect, you know, color for me. And I was instantly like, sold, sold. Whatever JLo's doing, I'm doing. Which I'm quite sure that JLo does not have a face full of Maybelline makeup. But I do, you know. I'm buying whatever she's selling. Amen. All right, so let's talk about eyebrows really quickly. I have very naturally hairy eyebrows. Like, they're super big. Look at that. So when the big eyebrow trend came around, I was like, thank you. Um, I think we all went through the thing in the 90s where we overplucked. I know I did. There was a time where like, I think my eyebrows started right here because I was like, I don't know what to do with all of this forest. Um, but I really like that it's a bit more natural now. Okay, now I've got this. Um, are we going to say that's Morphe or more? I'm, I'm going to like allow Bailey to like insert some really cute thing that says like, this is how you say it. Ding. Um, because I don't know if that's Morph or Morphe, the English language. Hey, I'm an English teacher and I can tell you that it's, um, crazy and it doesn't always make sense. All right. So in this palette, I'm going to show you. Are all these really pretty goldy coppery colors which I love um, it's called bronzed babe if you're looking for that so I fill in my eyebrows next um, and I use this brush I don't know what it is this angled brush to fill in my eyebrows And this just helps them be a little bit thicker. So I also love to use eyeshadow. And the reason for that is um, I like for things to look really natural and not have a super sharp, dark line. And that's just me and that's my natural preference. <laughs> So I just really lightly go in. I'm using this um, this brown. It's called Beach Please, which I love. That's funny. Okay. Beach Please. But it's the color that matches my hair the most. I use a good eyeshadow that matches my hair. Lots of different places. And I can even go in 
with a bigger brush, same color. And look at this magic. So I have like, look at that, there's skin up there and there's some grays. This is one of my tricks here, a little hack. I like to go in and darken it with some of that same color that matches my hair. Watch this. Ooh, it instantly looks thicker, right? Because it's not showing that line of skin. And so I do that sometimes to make my hairline. You can see again on this side, I kind of go in and fill it in. I got a little crazy there. But that's what I like about it is it's, um, see look how much thicker you can make your hair look. Um, so I think the, the key for me to doing natural makeup is finding a color that matches your hair. So I have lots of gray here. And sometimes I just go in with a little eyeshadow. <laughs> I feel like the Willow Tree girls are going to cringe when they see this video. They're all just gonna sit there and writhe in, in their chairs as they watch it and be like, Erin, no, why are you doing this? Um, which might be a funny video in itself, seeing how I take care of my gray hair. I have a great hairstylist, but I'm pretty lazy. And so look at that, instantly younger. Okay, that was one of my little hacks. Here's another thing I do with that same color. So I've really only used that, this brown color here. Same brush. I have um, a mole right here. I used to love that Cindy Crawford had like a mole right there. I thought that was just so cool. Um, but it's really light. And so I kind of want to like make it look more purposeful. So I do the same thing. Get this little brush that I did my eyebrows with and then dip it a little bit. And then I just hit that mole to where it looks like a little bit more purposeful, right? So I like that it shows up a little bit more. All right, same palette, different color. There's really pretty like shimmery colors, but right now I'm trying to show you like my most natural version of this. And so, um, I like to use, there's this one up here called Hang 10. I really like it. And I use this brush to do my eyeshadow. So I try to kind of go out here a little bit. Here's another thing I do that a lot of people don't, but I, I like to do this, um, is use this same brush, same color, do a little under the eye. See how it gives a little color? I like that. I also like the way that it makes my green eyes stand out a little bit more. Um, and I don't know if, if like every eye color has a different palette that they should use. I remember there was a time when like all May was doing that. I was like the green eye palette and the blue eye palette. But um, if you have green eyes like me, then you're probably going to like really enjoy these coppers and then um, purple, like any kind of purpley color also works pretty well. All right. So after that, um, I can go in again same brush as before, same color as before. And I go in and, and instead of using heavy eyeliner, I go in, I start about midway on my eye and I just press that color into my eyes. <laughs> my eye looks crazy when I do that. So see, like it gives me some color, but it's not super like defined, which I actually really like. 
I'm gonna do the other one too. And then I'm gonna blend it in. Is it not crazy when you watch people um, do something that's like natural, natural looking makeup and then you're like, but you spent 30 minutes putting it on. Um, that's always misleading. Okay. So again, going with that natural theme, I just blend that in just a little bit on the corners because I don't really want to have like a super defined cat eye, but I do like for it to be a little bit darker right there in the corners. Okay. I do not curl my lashes and um, I, I have my lashes done. Um, one time I got fake lashes. Um, now I do the, I like, I'll put the ones on for a day when I go to take pictures of the willow tree. But like having them professionally done, I went one time and I told everyone, I was like, it looks like um, I ran into a wall because my eye, my eyelashes were like, Bling. I like the silhouette of like eyelashes, like slowly going out. I really like that look. So when I, um, when I curl my lashes, I just feel like it doesn't look very natural. Again, great for pictures because it shows up well. Um, so here's another thing. I've tried lots of different mascaras and I keep going back to this one. You know, I'll, I, I really, I think I've gone through, I don't know, 25 or so, probably even within the last year of different mascaras. And I like this one the best. And again, it's from the drugstore. Um, so Kristen told me the other day that only old people do this. But you know what? Let's be honest. I'm older now, so... Um, I definitely line the bottoms of my eyelashes. Bailey Gore, girl, you speed this up if you want to, because I don't know if anybody wants to see this action up close. <laughs> So then for my lips, this is, this is the best. This is my color here. So if we're going with natural, I like a matte always. I'm kind of a matte girl anyway. Again, I didn't use like really any sparkle on my face. And um, so I like the way that that looks. And this color is called, it's matte 49, which is Rise Up Rose. And I love this color. I'm going to close this a bit more so you can see. Okay. It got really dark all of a sudden. Oh, so here's another secret. I'm in front of the window. And so I keep my makeup in a travel bag and I put it on most of the time in the car or if I'm here at the house and I put it on in front of a mirror or I'm um, Yes, a mirror in front of a window. Um, that's what I'm looking at right now. Like I'm up against a window. And I feel like that's another key to really natural makeup is if you do it in front of the window, then you get that really natural light. And um, so you're never surprised when you go out in the sun and you're like, oh, I didn't see it this way. I've put my makeup on before, like in darker places or inside where there's not a lot of natural light. And then I go outside and I catch a peek at myself and I've got like a, you know, something weird, maybe like a makeup line or um, I'm wearing too much makeup or maybe I missed a couple of spots because that lighting can be really deceiving. So um, instead, I like to put it on in front of like really natural light. <laughs> See, like that. All right, that way there's no surprises. So that's my natural, quick, Put it on your makeup every day kind of look. Thanks.